Hello, Dan Harvey for Boris Effects here with an overview of BCC 10 Colour and Tone. BCC Colour and Tone is a suite of 14 colour grading plugins for Adobe, Avid, Resolve and more with host specific custom interfaces. In this session I'll be working in Adobe After Effects. To illustrate the initial technical concepts graphically, I'll apply my grade to a test image of a linear gradient. I'll begin with BCC VideoScope, which provides industry standard measurement tools in a user definable layout. I'll select the preset for the Luma Waveform layout from the Effects browser. I can customise the layout and save custom presets as required. The black on the left of this image is shown here, and grayscales ascend diagonally to the white on the right of the image. Be mindful of colour space when working with the scopes. I'll go to Project Settings and change my working colour space to Rec 709 Legal Range. Note how the blacks are remapped to 16 and the whites to 235 and the scopes automatically updated. Now I'll switch back to sRGB and the original ranges of 0 to 255 are applied. The ranges for individual scopes may also be adjusted independently of the project colour space here. Ensure that these are set correctly in accordance with your footage and project colour spaces, or prepare for the unexpected at render time. Now I'll insert the BCC 3-way colour grade effect and move it above the video scope in my composition in order that the colour grade output is measured by the video scope. BCC 3-way colour grade allows independent adjustments of intensity and balance of luma ranges in a format that will be instantly recognisable to experienced editors and colourists. Lift affects the darkest colours, or shadows. Note how the waveform monitor updates as I update the master slider. Now I'll reset the master slider. Gamma applies a weighted curve adjustment affecting the midtones. I'd like to change the balance with the colour wheel this time, so to show the offsets I'll switch to the RGB waveform monitor. Now we can see the differential offsets in the RG and B channels. Now I'll reset the master slider and the colour wheel. Gain affects the brightest colours, or highlights. Whilst the black and white gradient isn't the most interesting image to look at, observing how the grade affects it in a waveform monitor can give a clear impression of how colour tools in different applications are working. Lift gamma and gain are uniform in their effect across all applications, but more esoteric controls like brightness, exposure and film grading tools will vary in their effects across different applications and plugins. Now I'll use the three-way colour grade on some actual colour footage, provided by our friends at Pond5, a leading supplier of stock footage. The original photography here has low contrast and a warm colour tint. I'll begin by setting my black level with lift and my white level with gain. The waveform indicates hard clip whites on the source. I'll return to this issue later. Now I'll set my midtone level with gamma. Finally, I'll push the blacks and midtones towards blue and cyan in order to neutralize the warm color cast. That's my basic primary grade. Now I'll add another three-way color corrector and tackle the hard clipping in the highlights. I'll turn on the key and sample the highlights. I'll display the matte and adjust the highlight threshold and softness. Now I can reduce the gain in my highlights. Further softening the key will soften the clipping effect. Subsets of the grading tools are also available in the colour and tone group for quick and easy adjustments. BCC Levels Gamma enables input and output levels of blacks and whites to be set, along with Gamma for the midtones. This may be applied overall or to individual colour channels. Hue, Saturation and Lightness presents the colour basics in a simplified form.
PCC brightness contrast does just as its name suggests. I'd like to apply a vignette to this shot, so I'll add the brightness contrast effect, load an oval mask in the pixel chooser, darken the edges and increase their contrast slightly. For more detail on the power of the pixel chooser to create precise isolations, check out the other videos on these pages. Correct Selected provides a quick and easy subset of the secondary grading tools. In this example, I'd like to make this character's lips look a little cooler in keeping with the wintry setting. I'll key off the colour of the lips, refine the mat, and mask it out with a shape. Now I'll back off the saturation a little and cool it off. Now I'll toggle bypass to show before and after. Colour balance allows me to quickly adjust the RGB levels with the widgets in the head up display. The BCC colour corrector effect provides a useful subset of the most commonly used grading controls, including brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, output black and output white levels. Invert Solarize allows user-defined colour attributes to be inverted, very handy for generating stylized graphical looks. When more extreme looks are applied, BCC safe colours can be added at the bottom of the composition to ensure that output colours are clamped to broadcast legal levels. User thresholds can be set for this as required. Colour match does as its name suggests, allowing the colours from one clip to be matched to another. In this example I have shots from two different angles of the same location in layer 1 and layer 2 of my composition. The shot in layer 2 has a warm tint and I'd like it to match the more neutral take in layer 1. I'll hide layer 2 and sample my highlight target colour. Now I'll show layer 2 and sample my highlight source colour. Now the source colours on the affected clip are matched to the target colours sampled from the reference clip. I can independently adjust the strength of the adjustment applied to luminance and colour and increase or decrease the highlight selection range by adjusting highlight midtone bias. I can repeat this process for midtones and shadows as required. I'll use compare mode to show before and after the match colour effect is applied. The compare mode is available in all of the BCC tools. BCC Tritone is a simple luminance based tone remapper with three levels of adjustment for blacks, midtones, and whites. BCC Colorize is a more sophisticated tone mapper which allows colour tints to be applied to up to six user-defined luminance ranges. Black is defined as colour 1 and white is defined as colour 6. Four additional grayscale levels may be enabled and their colours remapped as required. Black and white thresholds may be adjusted and squeeze adjust the contrast of the intermediate grayscale. In advanced controls, loop enables the gradient to be repeated and offset enables the gradient breakpoint to be moved. Color ease controls the smoothness of the grayscale gradient to which the tone remapping is applied. Working with the advanced control opens up the possibilities of some bold graphical looks. Multitone Mix behaves in a similar manner to Colorize with the additional refinement of allowing the colours from two user-defined source clips in the composition to be remapped to Luma levels in the layer where the effect is applied. 
In this composition, I have a plain seascape on the top layer and a vivid sunset below it. I'll define the seascape layer as source layer 1 and the sunset layer as source layer 2. I'll select layer 1 as the tone source for my darker greys. I'll select layer 2, the sunset, as the tone source for my mid-tones. I'll select layer 1 as the tone source for my highlights. Now I'll adjust the mid-tone bias in order to apply the rich sunset tones to the seascape. BCC's tone mapping tools offer a broad range of creative possibilities, but let's return to practicalities for a moment. I'll enable BCC Video Scope and consult the Vector Scope. This indicates that my reds are a little hot, so I'll enable BCC Save Colors to ensure my final output is broadcast legal. As we've seen in this session, the BCC Color and Tone Unit provides editors, designers and colorists with a comprehensive set of tools, allowing them to apply technical balance, bold, stylized looks and subtle color grading and tone blending treatments. Thanks for watching. To find more great post-production and plug-in tutorials, please visit borisfx.com.